And uh, how old um, were your mom and sister? My sister was uh, 63, and my mom was uh, just turned 85. Okay. I think. They have the same birthday. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, they were both born on April 17th, and now they have both perished on July 3rd. It's, I don't know what that is. Coincidence, iron ironic, just interesting. With the fire, I know you guys can you tell me a little bit about what you guys were doing that night and kind of, I guess, what you came back to, whatever you're comfortable with sharing, of course. Well, it was July 3rd and Lake Ballinger was having their big celebration. We didn't want to go down there in the crowds and the food trucks and stuff with the little kids. So we said, we'll just have a barbecue at my house. And then when it gets dark, we'll walk down there and watch the, the fireworks. And um, so, uh, we had the company over and we had the dinner and, and, the, and the family with the kids thought, no, they're too little, they can't stay up this late. So they went home. So it was just my family, my two grandkids, my son-in-law, John and Renee and me. And so uh, mom and Terry were upstairs in the bedroom watching Christmas movies. And so I fixed them a plate from the barbecue and I ran it up there and I told them, okay, we're gonna walk down to the lake now and see the barbecue. When I get back, I'll fix you ice cream. And they're like, okay, bye. <clears throat> and, and we left. Well, it's just so strange because we were picking up everything. We were outside clearing all the plates, picking up all, all the mess from dinner, putting everything away, all the food away. There was nothing out of ordinary. There was... And, yeah, and they said the fire started on the back deck. And, and what kills me is I was home all day long. I left for 45 minutes. I come back and everything's gone. There's, there's no condo, there's no mom, there's no sister. In 45 minutes, how did that happen? Everything completely wiped out. Just nothing. I just, I still can't believe it. I'm in shock. I spend a lot of time sitting, staring into space because I can't <clears throat> comprehend how that happened. Yeah, we left at maybe 9.30, or no, it's 9.45, it was closer to, to 10, and uh, my husband started filming the fireworks that started about three after 10, and within three minutes of that video, we hear sirens and then more sirens and more sirens. And there were so many that we thought maybe this is part of the show. Maybe they were doing a, uh, some kind of a, a parade on the streets. And when we started to walk back, they were fire truck after fire truck, bumper to bumper, all, all the way, way into down. Lake Village, out onto um, Lakeview Drive. And I started filming it, um, walking up, because it was just surreal. All the flashing lights, uh, just so many flashing lights, so many people and bystanders. and. Uh, I filmed it all the way up t into our parking lot and around the parking lot island and it saw that it was our house. From that moment on, it just felt like a, a living nightmare. It just, it's hazy it, and it doesn't time seem, started to blend how together. How is it possible? And, yeah. How is it possible in that short amount just, of time? Because when we got there, the flames were already out. How is that possible? And it had gone from the, the back deck through the apartment up to the top floor out into the carport and through our Dodge Ram truck all the way to the back bumper. I mean, within, it had to have been within 35 minutes that fire went that, through boom. everything. It's just incredibly fast. It, it's surreal.